Hello, I'm Morse Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor. Here, uh, I thought I would take the time to bring you up to date on what is available uh, today. Probably the most important is bushcraft. I published that about 37 years ago. Uh, it was originally published as Northern Bushcraft. Uh, but the publisher, for some reason, figured it would improve sales if you dropped bushcraft. And of course, there are many books available that are, are called bushcraft, and not very many that are called northern bushcraft. Probably the next uh, most useful book, which was uh, produced for the, for the junior forest wardens originally, and it could have been called Bushcraft II, uh, but uh, giving it a, a more specific name like Basic Safe Travel and Boreal Survival. So generally, except for a chapter on axe use, which is similar, uh, this is new information in addition to uh, the, the original Bushcraft. He, he published a uh, a set of magazines, 16 issues in all, and a lot of that information went into bushcraft, and the remaining information that, it, that was uh, being lost due to the fact that the magazines were out of print um, actually is being compiled in the basic safe travel and boreal survival. Uh, in the boreal survival, you will also note that there will be the equivalent of certain bits of information like bears and uh, edible plants and a few other knots and warp work uh, so that you get a version that comes into these 32 page booklets uh, and, and in some cases that information is covered in greater detail in the basic safe travel and boreal survival. Then there are a lot of people who would request the outlines of the knowledge that you should have if you want to consider yourself a survival instructor. And we came up with a, a manual that addressed that called the Grand Syllabus. And in the Grand Syllabus, it listed uh, all areas of uh, the depth of knowledge that you might get into in the various skills that you need to be able to take care of yourself when you are surviving. And in making the book a little less thin, we had uh, some uh, discussion as to instructional abilities. The booklets, uh, here at the top of the stack is, is uh, minimal knowledge you should know about when you meet a bear the, there is booklets like uh, Basic Wilderness Survival in Deep Snow, and Basic Wilderness Survival when the snow is so deep you need snowshoes, uh, Basic Survival when the, there is no snow and it's bitter cold, uh, manuals that would go into uh, survival kits, and uh, two manuals, one on map, one on compass, etc. So basically these are, uh, you might almost say, that a booklet like this one, How to Survive in Deep Snow, where uh, it's a three-day course. You might say two days as a starter, but the three days uh, is more reasonable, even though it's only 32 pages. By the time you learn everything there is to know in that 32-page document, you um, um, might find that that little bit of uh, of a manual uh, just about requires three days to cover. Now we have, uh, in connection with bushcraft, we would say there is videos, and the one here is tools, sticks as tools and implements, from ski shoes to pack frames to buck saws to walking staff. Then there is uh, knots, which supports the last chapter in basic safe travel and so on. 
knots demonstrated, seven knots, the most important knots. And something that is not really covered anywhere else, it is the clothing and sleeping bags are covered. And then in, in support of bushcraft, you've got blades, sharpening and safe use, shelters, and a lot on fire. So there's actually enough knowledge on fire to require two discs. The issue of plants is an important part of the knowledge relating to the outer doors. So we created a, a, a series of videos, of which there are seven, that relate to the 250 plants that are found both in Quebec and Alberta. And Robert Dale Rogers um, had this encyclopedic uh, collection of the, of the knowledge about the plants, which we are simply able to create this, this book. The seven videos, the uh, show you and discuss enough of the plants so that uh, you could learn these plants in the middle of winter in a comfortable uh, living room and keep showing them and showing them and probably in a matter of a, a weekend or a long weekend for sure you would master the 250 plants so the first time you lay your eyes on on the plant you know it through this approach. There's also two videos that are called the plants that harm where we focus on the plants that you might want to become more aware when you're living in a in a rural setting that especially if you have children and you don't want them to come to harm with regard to chewing on such plants then we have the medium of folk toys as being able to um, extend your skill as a user of a knife, axe, and saw. So we use the medium of folk toys, which applies very directly to the outdoor education situation. So this particular book called Bush Arts, which went out of print very quickly, um, the uh, issue of cattail dolls and uh, um, basic basketry, music recorders, propellers. This, this is a, a work in progress that uh, we are going to bring out a much more com comprehensive manual. Uh, and for the time being, uh, most of the information that's in here is backed up in the uh, video. Reminding you that everything can be purchased as either eBooks or in the form of Vimeo. And I hope that uh, if you are searching for information that we are pleased to provide it.